Hello, my name is Maria Turchaninov, and I'm the author of the Red Abbey Chronicles, and this is my dog, Suki. And the first book in that series is called Maresi, and it tells the story uh, of an all-women's abbey on a remote island. And it's a safe, uh, warm community, uh, concentrated on knowledge and uh, storing uh, knowledge, both sort of normal knowledge and more secret knowledge. But then a new girl arrives at, at to the island, and in her wake, violence and danger set foot in the abbey. And I first had the idea for this place, not much so much the story as the place, when I went to see an exhibition with photographs from the Greek island of Athos many, many years ago. And on that island there's a thousand-year-old monastic community. And still to this day they receive about 80,000 visitors or pilgrims. And only the men get to set foot on the island. The women get to take a boat ride around the island uh, while the men get to go ashore. And I went to this exhibition with my notebook, as I often do, uh, taking notes and getting very ex inspired, because it's a very beautiful place, very stark, uh, very dramatic. And at the same time, I got very, very angry, because how can it be that in Europe today, there is still a place where women aren't allowed? And what would happen, I thought, if I turned that on its head? and had an island and an abbey where only women are allowed. But since I write fantasy, there would be a very specific reason uh, that men aren't allowed to set foot on the island. And then I carried this idea with me for many years and eventually started sort of exploring it by writing little snippets of text set there, sort of to explore what kind of a place is this. And in one of these uh, snippets, these little exercises, a young novice told about her day by telling about each door she passed through during her day in the Abbey. And then kind of comparing them to how it was back home where she came from, where there were two doors. And I really fell in love with her voice. My previous novels have all been third person, but this first person narrator suddenly was so clear to me and so interesting and if I find something interesting so hopefully does the reader and then through her eyes I started exploring more and more of this place and more and more about the story and eventually those doors worked their way into the theme of the book there are many themes and different readers tend to see very different things in this novel. But for me, one of the most important themes is death. Because in the end, Mariesi, the narrator, um, ends up standing in front of death's door too. And the book is about death and how we approach death, but more importantly, how we approach life knowing that death's door awaits us all. 